I am back again to discuss about talent reading an XML file and writing into Oracle table. So these are the steps we are going to cover. So the step one is like making connection uh, directory in a OS, OS path. And second thing is like creating a EMP XML file in that path. And the third thing is like uh, creating an XML file connection under talent uh, studio. <clears throat> data integration and the fourth thing is like creating a target table uh, with the uh, XML format uh, what we want to load it uh, under Oracle database with uh, it's located in HR schema and fifth thing we are going to create a job design using this following components like D, DB file input XML to read uh, the component uh, with X query path and the field information corresponding which you are uh, reading from the EMP XML file and uh, the T log row or to display the result info or trap error in case job flow runs smooth or failover in the exception cases. And third and final uh, in the step five, uh, we are going to write the output component uh, using the DB, uh, <coughs> DB output component to write uh, uh, the XML read information uh, to write in the target T underscore EMP table. Okay, and finally, once the, uh, the job design is ready, we are going to run the job to read and write uh, the whole process. Okay, uh, come on, let's uh, jump into action. Please follow me. Okay, let's go to the terminal now. First thing, I'm going to create, I'm already there in the talent path. I'm going to create a, making a directory called XML and going to the XML folder. I'm going, I'm going to create a simple XML file here. Um, okay, and I'm calling employee, the tag, the, this is the main tag and, and I'm creating a record tag I'm creating for our testing purpose three records so three sub tags I'm creating here and the fields inside is MPID Closing the tag H EMP name test two. Record or um, not to EMP ID EMP name test three EMP name and age forty four. Yeah, so the XML file is ready now. So let's try to save this.
so now the file is ready okay so let's go back uh, to the Tara studio now So, as I told you, now the step one, step two is create uh, cleared. Now we are going to create the step three, that is XML create uh, uh, metadata creation. That is, we will go to metadata under metadata create a XML file connection. So let us give XML source. Okay, I'm giving the name like that, and I'm going to point. This is one as a input XML okay we are going to read this so i'm selecting the file now okay this is the path where in which the file is there so this is the schema viewer okay and the file got selected now this is the export information we suppose to select and drag and drop here okay so in some case okay just it should be so this employee underscore record uh, because employee is the root and record is the record le uh, record level information and these all are the file uh, field attributes we supposed to capture here in field information okay this setup is ready now just try to refresh preview and see the records are loading properly yes the records is loaded properly now let us say next okay and okay finish okay now the file connection xml is ready now let us try to go uh, let us go back to our notes again just confirm the step three is done now we are going to create a step four that is let's go back to sql developer and under this hr schema in oracle we are going to create a table called t underscore emp okay and emp underscore id as number let us give emp underscore name vacar2 and 20 i'm giving and age okay as number 3 i'm giving so if you want you can define as primary key in case um okay so yeah so the table okay the table also got created so you can double check the table is got created yes the table is empty now so since we didn't load the data yet so let's go back to the design now the step 4 is done now let's go back to the job design okay go to the job design okay so here we are going to create a new job okay in under job design so read I'm going to give read XML load loading load table just I'm simply giving the name like that okay so as I told now we are into step 4 5 creating a job first the component what you're going to select is DB file input XML so select DB db input sorry db file sorry, file input xml file input xml that is the component we are going to select it so under this component now we are going to select the file which we have created under the os level okay so now you go back to the terminal and copy the path so this is the path where in which the file is there okay copy the path okay go back to the studio and select it okay the file is there already okay now the export query okay here we need to select the uh, okay before to that repository we supposed to select it okay under the repository which we defined employee source xml we have to select it okay 
yeah so now the file stream and we need to select thereafter okay now you see that export query automatically pulled from the definition from the repository and the field attributes whatever it's mapped also it came uh, correctly okay so yeah we are done almost okay um in case if you if there is any error you can set this die on error of op options okay now let's simply try to print this uh, reading information xml information into log row component so i if you go back to the uh, uh, notes here so see this is what we have mentioned t log row error to display results info okay before loading into the target table let us try to ensure that it's properly read and it's writing into the console okay that is what we are trying to do let's try to save this job here of course okay so now okay this is simply going to write it in the console so no need to do anything else here so let's try to run the job okay the job is running successfully and reading all the three records what we have defined in the xml okay we are good now so now the third step under step 5 third step is db output component okay so db we have to select db output okay so this is what we need to do is so here so before to that you just try to define the database here so here again select oracle and apply that okay and you have to select the repository here select the repository which we already defined is oracle hr right go to the db connection select oracle hr okay we are all set now which table we are going to point it here okay we need to select the table here so we already know the table which we have created is t underscore emp from the list what we are seeing from the hr schema so down in the bottom you can see that i choose that table okay so the table is ready now okay now in case if you want to change the action on table you can do that let us try to make it a truncate table and insert on action okay and rest all like i think you can leave it as it is so you can make sure that die on error here in case any issues and okay okay i'm going to leave the rest of the properties as it is okay i'm going to save this uh, before saving that i'm going to connect this into target okay now basically we are trying to read the file from uh, using t file input xml which is nothing but it is using the existing connection xml property yeah, ultimately we are going to point the emp xml file which we have defined and it is reading and printing into the log row for our uh, um, confirmation once that uh, component is uh, we have confirmed everything is okay then we are from log row we are pointing to db output which is nothing but oracle database hr schema t underscore emp table okay let's try to save this job now and run it now okay i think the job uh, ran successfully yeah three rows resulted so see here three rows have been read from the xml file and it printed in the console from console uh, that log row component it is passed to the target tv output that is nothing but our hr schema so the six steps also we completed now so let's go back and confirm the same okay whether the records have been loaded successfully or not yes all these three records have been loaded from xml thank you friends for watching my video please subscribe my channel